Hi, my name is Brian Slavsmik, and I'm the Customer Education Leader of the Experience Division here at Cantico. The name of this presentation is the best way to teach your employees and customers how to work with experience. So, what's the best way to learn experience, you might be asking? Well, the best way is to just use the educational materials we offer, and you should be just fine. Thank you. Well, okay, it's not that simple. We need to answer a few more questions first. In this presentation, uh, I will try to uh, cover the key materials uh, we offer, and also I will try to show what has changed uh, in the past year. Uh, I will also give you a short overview of the educational materials that you might have overlooked or maybe you just didn't consider them in general. I'll also show you uh, how could your people benefit from all those materials uh, by mapping those materials to a life cycle of an exemplary project. Uh, just as an example for you to see how could they be used. And finally I will unveil uh, what are we currently working on uh, and what do we plan next. In this presentation, I will cover materials for all audiences, meaning both technical and non-technical people working on your project. So, what are the key educational materials? So, first and foremost, uh, the documentation and API reference. Uh, the documentation is the cornerstone of learning anything experience related. Uh, it covers the product most thoroughly and you know, there is a saying that uh, what's not in the docs doesn't exist, and it's kind of true with, uh, with our documentation. Uh, as every year, uh, you should pay attention to the release notes. Uh, release notes is the place where everything that has changed in the last version is described. So, you know, that's a really good place to, to look for that information. And this year, we are, sh we are saying uh, bye to Portal Engine and saying hi to the .NET Core. What I mean by that is uh, that uh, Portal Engine removal or the removal of the portal engine technology uh, in Kentico experience was a major thing for us. We re removed uh, or rewritten hundreds of pages uh, and now the majority of the docs is written for the MVC framework and with the new whole section focused on .NET Core. As you might know, uh, technology-wise the focus of experience has shifted towards .NET Core a lot and it can be seen uh, in all materials uh, that I'm going to show you. You can access our documentation at docs.experience.io and I will link all the resources I'm mentioning here at the end of the presentation. So next key educational material is the tutorial. Uh, the tutorial provides you the bare minimum to get you started with experience. Uh, you know, the purpose of the tutorial is not to fully prepare you for working experience, but basically just to show you around. Uh, and we have two tutorials, one is aimed for developers and one is meant for business users. But, you know, not to fully prepare you, but to fully prepare you, we have the training. Uh, the training consists of uh, several courses, uh, with the two main courses being the Experience MVC for Developers and the MVC for Marketers and Editors each of those consisting, consisting of uh, three separate modules. Uh, we do have more courses and more certification, but these two are kind of the more important ones, I think. Uh, we have been creating new and updating the existing content all year long in these uh, courses. Training and certification are the only paid materials uh, in our offer, uh, and they do provide the biggest value uh, for you. Uh, this year we have uh, two big news regarding uh, the training. Uh, one big news is that uh, we are now offering the unlimited training subscription. Uh, unlimited training subscription should be a or is a great deal for you if you are planning a big project uh, with many people invol involved or you are planning to take most of our courses uh, in, in the upcoming year. Mm, then it should be a no-brainer no for you. And the second big news I will cover at the end of the presentation, but uh, it will have something to do with the uh, switch to the .NET Core. So that was a quick recap of the educational materials, or the key educational materials we have. And now I will give you a short overview of our educational materials that you might not have heard about, or maybe you just didn't consider them in general for use in your project. So first of those materials, and one of the newest addition to our fleet of materials uh, are the MVC.NET Core, uh, MVC and .NET Core starter kits. Uh, the starter kits uh, provide 
essential resources for both experienced and unexperienced developers, uh, and they sh give them like a quick quick start. You know, if they want to start learning uh, how to develop on experience on the respective technology, uh, you know, they it's a it's a sum of uh, articles, videos, documentation, code examples. And uh, they are two separate materials, one for MVC and one for .NET Core. Uh, it's a great place to start if you don't have time for the proper training. And basically, it's just like a great cheat sheet for developers to start with. Uh, next is the DevNet, the developer portal you might already know. Uh, it includes the articles and Q&As. And what's great about DevNet is that it's written by our own developers, support, training, uh, and MVPs. Uh, with DevNet, we kind of want to fill in the missing gaps of training and documentation. Uh, the articles on DevNet really go into detail, and they are worth going through. Uh, you know, if you want to learn more about specific topics, uh, the articles often contain downloadable content or some code samples. You know, ready for you to use. So if you can cannot find the answers to your questions anywhere else, uh, you should definitely try DevNet. So for example, uh, we've added a new new series on creating transactional emails, emails or setting up your Google Analytics. Uh, next resource is the resource hub for marketers and editors. Uh, it's the new addition to our tutorial. And the resource hub is primarily aimed at uh, marketers and editors, but you know, it's basically for anyone eager to learn about all the features of experience. Uh, it consists of training courses, videos, documentations, ebook, white papers, and so on, sorted by features. Uh, this means that if you want to, for example, learn about the email marketing, you just go find a dedicated section and you know, off you go. Uh, everything is summed up in this section about each particular feature. So it's a great way to learn about digital marketing and uh, you know, all the capabilities of experience. After Resource Hub, we have the experience block. Uh, at Candico, we believe that complete block doesn't necessarily have to promote only the product itself, but it should also give our customers great value also. So just like with the DevNet, uh, on the experience block, we you know, try to fill in the missing gaps of training and documentation by providing you various how-to articles, uh, mostly for uh, non-developers. Uh, these articles often create, uh, often contain um, concrete steps and downloadable content, you know, ready for you to be used. This year, we have added uh, great articles about creating automated newsletters or, you know, setting up your contact database. And just as with all the other uh, training materials, uh, except to training, uh, the experience book is completely free. All right, so. Now that we have summed up and quickly reviewed uh, the key materials and the most uh, you know, interesting materials from our offer, uh, let's look at how you could put them to use. So I'll go through uh, several stages of an imaginary project, uh, focusing on example personas, just to give you an idea of how you could put them to use. Uh, the idea is here not to give you like strict rules on where to use which one, but just to basically give you an idea, and then you know it's up to you to decide on uh, when to pull out each. All right, so imagine that uh, you know you are planning your project. I know that you know there can be more phases uh, or you know more stages of your project. There might be more personas, but just like imagine that you are planning your project. You are deciding on what to do, what to actually develop, and you know you have your product owner, your technical leader. So you know they can right away start looking at the documentation at their resource hub, uh, and you know try to understand all the features of experience and try to you know learn what could they develop and add. Uh, and similarly, the marketer could start going through the documentation, the tutorial, the training, the resource hub, and so on. So now that you have planned your project, here is the developing phase. The developer comes, uh, and you know they want to deliver you know, the best they can. So now here is the where we offer the whole range of our resources, starting from tutorial, uh, you know, sample kits, uh, API examples, DevNet, and so on. Uh, you do, you, what you might probably not know is that uh, many questions as, asked on Stack Overflow, 
overflow are asked directly uh, are answered directly by us uh, so you know it's definitely worth uh, searching those as well uh, one note you know using these materials uh, at the right time uh, you can save a lot of time <laughs> nerves and uh, definitely resources so I definitely recommend using at least a portion of these in your projects and now that you have developed the project, uh, it's time to keep it maintained. Uh, it's time for the content editors and marketers, you know, to uh, put in the content and take care of the content. So you know they can utilize the tutorial, the selected modules of the of the course. Uh, they can go through the resource hub, uh, read the articles on the blog. Yeah, so that was an example how we could utilize the resources. Uh, how I really hope you will. Uh, you know, use most of them and that you will find them useful. Uh, and now I'll try, try to show you, you know, what's ahead of us and what should you expect from, uh, from us next. So the main focus of customer education team in the upcoming months is helping you kickstart your .NET Core uh, projects. So we have the tutorial, we have the documentation, we have the uh, starter kit on .NET Core. All of these should be ready for you around the release of uh, Experience 13. Uh, we are also working hard on uh, delivering the .NET Core uh, training, developer training. Uh, this training will be reworked from scratch. Uh, and together with that, we are working on the business training. Uh, the business training will be updated for new scenarios and new features of the Experience 13. And Kind of our next focus, uh, you know, besides uh, all this I mentioned, I mentioned uh, we'll be focusing on online marketing, uh, on preparing projects on online online marketing. So you know, you should expect new materials uh, regarding this topic in the upcoming year. All right, that's all from me, and thank you for your attention.